so I want to share with you everything that I got for Christmas and I thought we'd keep this pretty casual as if I was still in my living room sharing with my family everything that I got which is why I'm sitting on my floor also because I have one thing to unbox this is a present to me from me because those are some of the best gifts I actually have a few of those to share with you but I'll start with the things I got from my family first my family and I are always pretty transparent about the things that we want for Christmas just to avoid getting each other things that we're not gonna end up using or that will just sit in storage I was encouraged buying from small shops or getting things second hands everything that I got was something I was gonna purchase for myself so the first thing that I got is a super adorable little sloth plush which is from Whole Foods around the holiday time they always put out a few different stuffed animals and every time I saw this little guy I just loved him more and more and since I go grocery shopping with my mom she knew that and she got him for me I think he's just especially cute to me because he reminds me of a hamster especially with the way that he's sitting and I freaking love hamsters one of my favorite animals and of course then the question would be why wouldn't I just get a hamster plush but because I saw him every week when I went grocery shopping we just kind of formed a bond so I'm happy that I got him for Christmas next thing that I got is this Death Star ear hat which has been on my list of things to get for the longest time and I don't remember seeing it any of the last times I went to the parks but I don't have a lot of Star Wars ears to complete my Star Wars outfits so I'm really happy to add this to my collection next thing that I got is this California Adventure shirt which is from a merch collection that they released a few years ago and it's my favorite collection of merchandise that Disney has ever released so this is another thing that I've been wanting for a while especially because I feel like we don't get a lot of cute California Adventure merchandise next up I got two new shoulder plushes because these are my favorite things I love walking around with a little friend on my shoulder especially when I'm at the parks but honestly just for every day if it makes sense I'm gonna have a plush with me so the first one that I got is a banshee and I love this one because I know right now in the parks they have one that's purple but usually any avatar merchandise is blue so I thought this one would go a little bit better and I just like the color scheme more and then I got the orange bird who I think is probably one of the cutest shoulder plushes I think he just like translates into this cute little plush size so well and then I got some books so the first one is midnight sun which I'm so excited to get into because I haven't touched a twilight book in years but I'm excited to read this and relive my teenage twilight loving days and then I got the Thrawn trilogy I've heard so many good things about this and I haven't really gotten into the expanded universe for Star Wars or really just haven't touched it at all so I'm excited to break into it by reading this especially because I just need to hear anything that tells me that Luke Skywalker is still alive and well and happy living his best life and then I have shirts from two different small shops so the first one is from second star lane which is so adorable I think I saw this like an Instagram ad or someone wearing it and I just knew I had to have it they also included this super cute little postcard with the order and then from the wonder studio i got this super cool living with a land shirt i love this design they also had a promo to get a free memo pad so i got this one that has a few different park icons all over it and then i got this disney world postcard pack which i'm so excited about because i got the disneyland version a few years ago when i was at the parks so i'm excited to hang a few different disney world pictures on my wall and then i got this disney world 50th anniversary pin it has the castle and mickey and minnie on it i missed out on getting this when we were at the parks so i'm happy i got it for christmas i know i keep saying that but these were truly all things I was going to purchase for myself or things I missed out on getting my family was just nice enough to gift it to me instead another souvenir I missed out on getting while we were at the parks is this plush from Dinoland who is so adorable you can get him if you play any of the games there which totally slipped my mind when we went because it was our first time so we were kind of running around busy doing everything else but I also just feel like it's a better value to buy it secondhand because a lot of the games are just luck so you could spend like $30 and not even end up with a plush like this I'm working on collecting all the souvenirs from Dinoland because I know they said during the D23 Expo this year that that land is on the chopping block so they do an expansion in Animal Kingdom so I'm just trying to save all the dinosaurs while I can. Any final gift for my family is this amazing Van Gogh Sunflower Build-A-Bear who I had my eyes on when it was released I think the end of last year and it sold out. They finally restocked it just before Christmas time this year and I knew I needed him. I wanted him on stuff so I can take him into the store and fill him up myself and then he also came with this little blue bow. I think this is probably my favorite Build-A-Bear they've ever released although I really don't like picking favorites because I feel bad for the things I didn't mention but this is incredible moving on to all the gifts I got for myself really these are just a bunch of random items I picked up while trying to be good and just shop for other people but of course I always use that as an excuse to get things from me or I was ordering things online and just took advantage of the holiday sales so the first thing that I got is this cardigan from Hot Topic this was part of the Christmas collection they did with her universe and I love this design I think it's so fun with all the different blocks of color and then these cute little embroidered patches and then I got this set of BT21 nail polishes from the cream shop I thought these colors were so perfect because because usually I like just a neutral pink on my nails so I will definitely get my use out of all of these. I got some socks from the Target Dollar section. These are my favorite fuzzy socks and they're such a great deal. So I got these ones that have some Christmas colors and then this came in a pack of two and it has a cute little Yeti on it. I got two packs of these Star Wars mystery ornaments. The main one that I wanted was Luke Skywalker because I love Luke Skywalker so I was amazed when I actually got him because I usually don't have any luck with blind boxes or mystery bags but he is so cute. And then I also got 
a little R2-D2 who goes perfectly with my Luke Skywalker. I got this Mickey snowman mug at Home Goods, which I was so amazed to see. I found him very casually and I was so excited because I usually don't have any luck when I shop at stores like that. So I'm happy that I was able to bring him home. I also found the matching Mickey Mini snowman salt and pepper shakers. Although I don't plan on using these in my kitchen, I think I'm just gonna have them work as like little figurines and use them as decoration in my room or in a tiered tray. Then I got this cute Yeti mug at World Market. I was so happy to see this restocked because I missed out on getting it last year. Yeti merchandise is such a difficult thing to come by, but I have a collection of stuff. And then I got two sets from Aerie. I loved this hunter green color. So I got this long sleeve little like cinch top. And then I got these leggings that are actually like joggers. So they're a little bit baggier and so comfortable. And then I got this set. So I have this long sleeve shirt and then the matching leggings. And both of these are made of this like ribs cable knit material. They're a lot thicker than the other set that I got. So they're extra comfortable. And then this is my most recent purchase, this Disney 100 hoodie. I love a good hoodie, especially one that celebrates an anniversary. I got this shirt from Get It Creations, which I really wanted because they said that they're not restocking their shirts. So I picked out this fantastic design. And to close out this video, I feel like I should finally open up this box, which has been sitting next to me this whole time. And oh my gosh, am I so excited to unveil this. Oh my gosh. This is probably too much for me to handle. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. See, this is why I don't like picking favorites because now that I have this, I just love him so much. He is super big, super furry, and just like in the movie, his arm comes off. So this is amazing and such a great gift. I'm so good at picking out presents for myself. So those are all the Christmas treasures that I have to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a magical day. Until next time, I love you guys. Toodles!